you see all the stations are in pink on this WSGTX window. The WSGTX program thinks that all these stations in pink are totally new for this band. I never worked these stations. And it's true, I've never worked these stations yet on this band yet, because this instance of WSGTX program is created just for my new call sign, special call sign, which I'm gonna operate for two weeks from now, Lima Yankee 33 Alpha. This is absolutely independent instance of WSGTX. It's not linked in any way uh, to my major WSGTX program and my normal call sign LY2 Hotel. This WSGTX instance has got everything on its own, all the settings for the transceiver. And what's most important, absolutely independent, separate contacts log. So that was my problem and that was my goal, uh, how to make it to have everything separate, separate instances of WSGTX. How is it possible? If you got the same problem and you want to know how did I do that, stay tuned. It's pretty easy if you know what to do. Basically, you need to do two things. To create one shortcut and to write down one string of code. Not really a string, just a few signs of code. Shortcuts is the key word in this all project. If you have a shortcut, you have a rule. I have already three instances of WSGTX program created. One is for WSGTX for the, um, to work with the K3. The other is my, so to say, major instance, which I work uh, most with, and it's connected with the ICOM 7300. And this is my newly created instance of the WGTX program for my special call sign LY33 Alpha. Let's create one more instance of uh, the WGTX and see how easy it is. So let's take this instance of the WGTX app in the center, right click on it scroll until the create shortcut now we have wgtx number two next step we need to do is to rename the newly created shortcut we have to assign a name we want right click and then scroll until rename and we can rename it let, let's say test now we have created a new shortcut. How to personalize it now? In order to personalize uh, and make it separate uh, from all the other instances, now we right click on it and we go to properties in the bottom of the drop down list. Click on it and here in the properties window, the most important thing is the string target. Under the target name, there's an address actually. Now, the most important part of all this exercise is as follows. We need to make one space after the exe, just one space, not two, but one space. And then we need to enter the following string of code, hyphen, hyphen, with no separation in between, then the word rig, R-I-G, then hyphen, no spaces, then the word name, N-A-M-E, the equality sign, and then the name of your new shortcut. So it's test in our case. It's test. All right, and it's done. Okay, 
this piece of code hyphen hyphen rig hyphen name equality the shortcuts name is really important to write it down correctly because this piece of code makes all the magics the wztx program starts suddenly thinking or knowing that it must send your newly made contact into a absolutely newly created log file now we can double click on the wsgtx test shortcut and we see that the, you know the totally new wsgtx instance is created there will be no settings in it we see now it's absolutely fresh instance of wsgtx so there's nothing configured uh, if uh, we want you know to make it a working instance you need to go to files scroll down to settings and you see nothing's here uh, filled uh, my call my grid nothing absolutely the general tab with your call sign the radio you need to choose the radio the audio uh everything the colors and whatever you want i'm not uh, gonna do this now on this new instance because i already have it done uh, with my new ly33 alpha callsign instance so i just wanted to show you how the absolutely blank instance of wsgtx app is created on your computer the log file will also be created anew let's open the ly33 alpha shortcut which is already configured and fully working all right so it's fully working let's go to the 20 meter band so it's more stations here so it's all configured it's it's all working and it's no no problems with it at all it does create a log in the adif format and it and the log does exist uh, but you just can't see it in in some nice table uh, shape as you perfectly know the wsgtx software does not have a log viewer functionality so you just can't see the log and your contacts in the log at any time uh, this log exists in the computer in the adif file but you can just you know see it easily you need to know where the heck this log file is located in and it's located in a magic folder on your computer the name of the folder is app data folder uh, this folder is hidden it means you can't see it and you can't access it so unless you make it visible or if you don't want to make it visible well you don't know how to make it and you don't want to know how to make it so you can access the same folder and the same log file through your wsgtx software so the best way to get access to your log file is to open up the file tab on your WSGTX program. Uh, scroll down until the open log directory. Click on it and voila! The app data folder is a magic folder it contains all the identities and it's uh, and it's probably the most important uh, folder in the, in the whole your computer that's why it's hidden so in this folder we see app data local wsgtx uh, ly33 alpha folder uh, where all the files for this my specific ly33 alpha instance of wsgtx are uh, located in so and here we can see wsgtx log it opens up with the elementary text uh, notebook uh, so and here i can see all my contacts i've done already and here i see 
that it's only the call signs, only the contacts I have made under my new call sign are listed in. So no any other contacts are in this log file. And if we come back to the local folder, uh, we see all the other instances located, accommodated in this folder under the app data. All right, guys, so far so good. I have now one transceiver, one computer, and two instances of WSJTX program running totally separately with separate call signs and separate logs for the contacts, for the QSOs. That's what I wanted in this project in the beginning. But what else we can do with multiple instances of WSJTX? We can do something more. For instance, I have my second radio aircraft K3, right? It's also connected to the same computer as my ICOM 7300. So now, if I create, and I did, the WGTX K3 instance, separate identity for Alicraft transceiver, if I open it, it would open and would run together with this instance uh, of the ICOM IC7300. In this way, I can have two WSGTX instances running on the same computer, on the same screen, simultaneously. It could be useful if I am going to run like single operator to radius class. For that, of course, I would need to have two separate antennas for each of the radios. Now, oh, you know, I'm just switching one antenna to all my radios I need. Let me show you. Let's open now the K3 instance of WSGTX. You see, it opens, it does not interfere with another. Now I can go and open up again my major instance of WSGTX. It also working. I could, you know, make the window smaller and try to accommodate both. Elecraft K3 is now working on 40 meter band. Uh, my ICOM IC7300 with different separate instances working on 20 meter band. Both are coding and decoding. Assume uh, I have two separate antennas connected, you know, one to each radio. Both radios are independent and the, both are connected to one computer, uh, both running uh, WSJTX, but two separate instances. So this is another situation where it might be meaningful and useful to have multiple instances of WSJTX. That's all I wanted to show you, so please uh, leave uh, me a message in the message section. Uh, how are you using multiple instances of WSGTX? Uh, how do you managing, you know, what do you do with the, with the reading of the log file of uh, your WSGTX uh, application? Uh, probably you embed it with the logging progr programs. It is possible. Maybe it could be uh, could be a topic for one of my next videos. Please leave me a message if, if you'd like to have one, if it's interesting for you. Thanks for watching. Peace and victory for Ukraine. And see you in my next videos. 73. This is Linas, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.